my friends. I'm going to talk about illegal immigrants slash immigration. There is more money, I think, being spent on the war than there is controlling the border. You can probably hear my cat scratching in the litter box in the background. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. My little baby, he's been sick. Getting on with things. Um, yeah, they did it. My grandparents went through everything you're supposed to do to become a legal citizen. Okay? Now, I feel, one of, and that's one of the reasons why this topic really gets me fuming. Because I feel anybody that wants to be here and you just come waltzing on in, you need to follow the rules. You need to get citizenship. And you need to do it the right way. What is the deal? You know, I don't understand what the problem is. And I'm going to tell you right now, I have a term for, and this is, I made this up, for the Mexicans crossing the border, um, I'm, call, I'm calling them wall rat, wall rats, you know the term mall rats, well these are wall rats, they're jumping up a wall, climbing over a wall, just like a rat would do, um, and killing, killing Americans, who are, who are there on the border for, to patrol the border, um, bringing drugs into the United States. Um, I can't think, I don't know, what's, you know, they're catching some of them, but most of them are getting in, man. And, um, we do need more border control, um, so we need to just get out of this war and start focusing on, you know, the, the, the border there. Um, in, in Mexico, and, um, I mean, as far as I know, that's the only, that's the only place they're crossing the border, and they're Mexican, and it's the Mexicans, as far as I know. You know, I'm sure there are other illegal aliens in this country of, other ethnic origin, but it's mostly the Mexicans, so, um, and I really don't care if you, anyone who's out there watching this, if you're becoming appalled and offended, you know, then just stop the video. Don't send me an ugly comment, like I said before, because... I have to approve them before they get put on YouTube, and of course, if it's a nasty one, it's getting trashed. Okay, so, um, oh, and so, yeah, this may be, <laughs> um, I have a hard enough time getting halfway decent health care. Um, I do, I have to go, and I have to, because I have a million and one things, a million and one health problems, ranging from epilepsy, to my mental health problems, to, um, sleep apnea. You know, it's just a whole, whole array of things. So, um... I do get my, I do go to the state funded hospital and I'm lucky to be only like 20 minutes away from it. So anyway, um, my, and my prescriptions, I'm able to get those, but they aren't free. I do have to pay $4 a piece for each prescription. And Lord knows if you look at my channel, tons of medicines. Um, and anyway, these illegal immigrants, they are getting the free, the state-funded hospital. Hospitals can't turn people away. It's against the law. So they're here. They're getting paid 
in cash under the table, which the companies are to blame. Um, the companies that are doing that, because and they're doing that so they don't have to report them as an employee, so they won't have to pay the taxes. I think that's how, I think that's how it works. Um, yeah, they're here. They're getting paid under the table. They're getting free health care. I mean, sh I mean, shit. If I was, if, if I had family that was getting that, and uh, I guess I'd be um, a wall rat too. You know, if I was Mexican. So I don't know. What can you do? You you know, it's like. You damned if you do, you damned if you don't. So, I just know that I get infuriated when I am at a state funded hospital that my parents have worked their asses off to pay taxes on, you know, for, and those motherfuckers are taking um, advantage of it. And they've never paid taxes here, you know. Um, so I guess in a way I don't really feel that guilty about going to the state-funded hospital. Because shit, my parents, they're still working. And they're like 62, still paying taxes. So hey, you know what? For me, I, you know, I, I, didn't, I never thought of it that way until just now. You know, they've put into the system. And, um... Here I am, their daughter, and thanks to them, I have been able to reap the benefits. And they're still freaking taking care of me, which... Uh, I wish it didn't have to be that way, but... Uh, let me check the time. I'm just pissed about this whole, this whole thing, this whole subject. It, you know, I, I see them... At the hospital that I go to, you know, having their babies, and of course, is if a if a when a baby is born here in the United States, it is an American citizen. So, but anyway, for the um, I mean, and then it's not the baby's fault, but. Anyway, for the for these Mexicans to come over here, I mean, do they think that they deserve special treatment? You know, I have I have even had this conversation with people of other ethnic origin, ranging from. Well, I just rem I remember this one person, um, this lady. She was. Uh, Vietnamese or something. She was Asian. And, uh, sh this subject pisses her off, too. And I don't blame her, because she came here, she did everything she was supposed to do, um, to become a citizen. So, why do these Mexicans think that they deserve special treatment? I don't know. Um, it's not fair. Um, it's not, it's definitely not good for the economy. Um, they aren't spending that money here in the United States. They're sending that money home. Home, my friend, home. To, to, over to Mexico, to their relatives in Mexico. Um, I guess I'm just going to end it, end it there. Like I said, I'm getting a little, a little too long-winded. Um, so, I guess I'll, uh, be back another time. Okay, bye-bye.